Hey. Uh, why do some lack assurance of salvation? Sometimes Christians live too much by their feelings. <clears throat> Perhaps they don't feel close to the Lord. That feeling of overflowing with joy just doesn't seem like it was the day they confessed and repented their sins. We call that chasing the dragon, I think. That first buzz, you know. It's the best one. And you chase after it forever. Increasing and increasing. And it's just never as good. But you can keep faking it and hope you'll make it. Okay. They may begin to wonder whether they are Christians at all. Feelings alone are not quite... Wait. Feelings alone are not a safe guide. Feelings are shaky. We need to meditate much about what the Bible says about how to be saved and how to continue. These are the facts. We must have faith in the facts. These ones. The ones they're going to tell us about. Just those, probably. Some of these facts are listed in the verses above. For the Christian who has repented of his sins and surrendered his life to... Christ. There is a rich supply of facts in the Bible. Wow. I read that book. Uh, maybe a couple of facts. I think they said water was wet at one point or something like that. Uh, they said a few true things. <laughs> I'm kidding. Calm down. <laughs> These affirm our security in Christ. The Christian has been bought. Ye are bought with a price. Can't get anything for nothing. And nothing, something doesn't come from nothing, right? Therefore, glory, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Adopted. Ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father, the Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. <laughs> okay. That we are the children of God. I said no. Freed, being then made free from sin by avoiding it, I guess, and constricting your life and living in a regimen of proscriptions and all that. Ye, uh, being made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. That sounds too good to be true. No, actually, it just doesn't. It doesn't sound good at all. Ooh. Chosen. God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through 
sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. You know, it's all pre-written, even if things change this way and that in your life. They got the Dana Ma already written down. Just saying. Hang on. I need a little luck of the Italian-Irish. Woo! Now we're getting crazy, Rich. Uh-oh. Dropped my tract. Hmm. And let me try this by itself. Whoa! Almost like drinking chartreuse. Whoa! Whoa. I'm gonna add some aqua. Some, uh, Product placement. Lemon sparkly. Look at the magic. Here's a miracle for you. What happened? What happened? Miraculous. Oh. Mm. Oh, anyway. Um. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Don't you feel mighty important now? That we should be holy and without blame. Before him in love. Purged. It's so cathartic, isn't it? Like a enema that flushes out sin. You just gotta take it in the ass. That's the only problem. But okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, how much more show the blood of Christ? A blood of Christ enema? Ah! Sounds dusty. I guess I'd have to add hydrants. Uh, <laughs> Who, through the eternal spirit, offered himself without spot to God. You know, that's something that always stuck in my head as a kid. Is I, I was always born with, I got lots of moles on my body. Lots of spots. That was always tough to reconcile when I was a kid. Because they kept going on about that. Blemishes and spots and imperfections. That's all the boughs dumping their snow. It's been four days of this shit. I love snow. I'd rather travel to see it, I think. Because you can't do anything. Everything's buried. But it's kind of cool still. You know, for a guy who's now employment challenged. But I have plenty of savings, so I'm good. Don't worry about me. No Patreon account for me. I'm not asking anybody for anything, except maybe a moment of their time, if they wish. <sighs> to God, purge your conscience from dead works. Dead works. Nothing worse. To serve the living God. By the way, speaking of gods, Loki says hello. Hey, Loki. You're a star. Okay, I'll let you go. You're not really crazy about being picked up. Uh. However, Christians must also remember that they can sin. Oh, good. They can sin. That's awesome. Let's stop reading right now. All right, we'll continue. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking refreshing. Makes me want to go out and do a snow angel right now. But not enough to actually do one. <sighs> My little children, these things write I unto you. 
really pretty like <laughs> that ye sin not well can you or can't you so you can't then why they tell us we can what the fuck <sighs> little contradiction there maybe I mean if you're going to be legalistic which I am going to be this time <sighs> and if any man sin we have an advocate with the father Jesus Christ the righteous and he is the propit propitiation of our sins and not of ours only. I mean, yeah, you know, you know, if for all generations you could have a really shitty day and really horrible, horrible shitty day, and but everything's gonna be like a cakewalk afterwards for everybody else. Yeah, I'd consider it, but I wouldn't have a subscription service. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to like join or belong. Just be yourself. And don't be an asshole. Don't be a dick. There, there you go. I've dispensed with all religion by saying that. <laughs> and he is the propitiation of our sins, and not only ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. These verses which are written to Christians teach us three things. Victory over sin is God's will for the Christians that sin not. A Christian is able to sin if any man sin. <clears throat> there is forgiveness through repentance. We have an advocate, an intercessor. Didn't even know we needed one before. Just kill a goat or some turtle doves, but now... They really simplified things. It's kind of streamlined almost, but there's still a middle man. <sighs> First, you, you used to have to bribe him. Now, now there's a middle man. You just have to kiss his ass. Keep thanking him for something you didn't ask for. Let me see what that noise was. Yeah, just big old clumps of snow. Fallen from the boughs. My, my plum tree in back has like been broken. And like it's been topped. It just... <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. I'll wait till things melt. If they ever do. I know they will. Alright. I've got faith in that. <laughs> Global warming. It's got to happen. <laughs> okay. So, if you feel estranged from God... Let the Spirit of God reveal any failure or sin in your life. If after allowing the Spirit to search your heart and life, you realize you have sinned, repent of your sins, confess it to God and implore His help, for victory. Just grovel for it. Because you've obviously done horrible things. Maybe some of you have. I hope not. You then will experience forgiveness and peace. Wow. Can you do that in private? Like in your closet? I guess things are turning around and 
whole bunch of other people need to get into the closet, like a majority of people, I think. <sighs> Insurance. Doesn't ask for much more than that. It doesn't matter. I'm not participating. Is there a false assurance of salvation? I was thinking that very question. Yes! We need to meet the conditions to be saved from sin. So now it's getting more complicated. So pay attention, folks. Because, you know, you're going to need this. To, you're going to need to know this to set up your afterlife. It's like an insurance policy. You know, it's another retirement, another pension, kind of. But much better. <sighs> People must realize they are sinners. Believe Jesus can save them. Repent of their sins and receive Christ as Lord. How many times you got to do that, by the way? <clears throat> Likewise, the conditions need to be met to remain saved. To remain saved. That's what I was wondering. Likewise, the conditions need to be met to be saved. Eternal salvation is for those who obey Jesus. Mm. We will be saved as we continue in his teachings. Okay. In John 10, 28, Jesus makes the wonderful promise that he will give his sheep eternal life. But Lots of that in store for you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being twisted. <sighs> mm. Mm. I like that. Better not make a habit of it. Mm. They will never perish. Wow. That sounds cool. No man can pluck them out of his hand. His being capitalized. But these promises are not for those who insist on going their own way, like me. Oh, well. I'll be okay. His sheep hear his voice and follow him. Hey, you know, if that's your thing, I'm, I won't judge too much. All right. Yes, I will. Uh, <laughs> these are the ones he knows who will not be plucked out of his hand. Christians are promised an inheritance in heaven. <laughs> it's a, one of those sky castle things, I think. Or a condominium, maybe. It's something we've never thought of. Because it's way better than anything we could ever think of. Trust me. I mean, I've read all that the Bible and the Apocrypha and everything else. And from what I understand, you're going to look forward to lots of splendor. You know, gold paved streets like a yellow brick road and bedizenments of fine gems making everything up like an emerald city. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Just don't pay any attention to anybody hiding behind a curtain. They're, you know, just probably in their closets, that's all. <sighs> An inheritance in heaven, they have a reservation there. And valet parking, maybe. I don't know. Cur bang. Ooh, nice. 
But the reservation is for those who are kept from sin by their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. So they can't sin, really. They're not supposed to. Even though you kind of seem to be saying it, they kind of can, but then they get forgiven. They might have to repeat the process, you know, kind of like, you know, shampoo instructions, you know. No, no, rinse and then repeat and then rinse and don't lose track of things because you want to end with the rinse. Kind of, you know, cleansing. I might just do that snow angel. I've never done one in my own fucking yard. That'd be awesome. Never had a yard until now. Well, the past five years. Uh, just as a plane reservation is canceled, if security conditions are not met, so this reservation will be canceled if we fail to meet God's conditions for his unconditional love. The Bible gives us the conditions that Christians need to meet. Uh. Abiding in him. And now, little children <laughs> abide in him that when he we're almost there shall appear we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. <sighs> Love in action. Okay. Little children. <clears throat> That's better. Let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. That kind of sounded pitiful almost. What do you think? Walking in the light. Yeah, go to the light. But if we walk in the light as he is the light, we have fellowship one with another. We got to do all that just to have that. Shouldn't we just try to have that anyway? With a healthy dose of skepticism, just in case. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, clean, cleanseth us of all sins. Quite a visual there. Mmm, squeaky clean. Now kneel. <laughs> Bend over. No, wait. Kneeling down is not the same as bending over, right? I think Frank Zappa asked, asked that question. Uh, and he would approve of my choice of beverage, no doubt. <laughs> Righteous living. In this, the children of God are manifest and the children 
of the devil! <laughs> Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. I don't know. I do. I try to do. I believe in random acts of kindness. Just because why the fuck not? Nothing else to do. Except maybe be an asshole, but I... Nah, I've done that enough. I'm going to be a not a total asshole now. My choice. <laughs> and no tithing required. <laughs> Neither he that loveth not his brother... I have three stepbrothers, but I don't have a brother. I have a sister, and that should count the same. What the fuck? Just as important. Damn it. Confessing Christ. Can't wait. But I will. Oh, I won't. All right. I'm okay now. I think. Confessing Christ. Whosoever shall confess me before men, with a straight face even, him shall the sons of man also confess before the angels of God. Diligence. We desire that every one of you do shew the same diligence to the future assurance of hope. That's right, I got hope confused with wishing. I'm fine now. Unto the end. Keep hoping. And see which one fills up first. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Well, there's one born every minute, right? God has also provided the church for our mutual reproof and encouragement. Brethren and sisters, in the, uh, in the faithful church, Help us maintain assurance of salvation by warning us when we stray, reminding us to be doers of the word and not hearers only. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm out of stuff. Punctuate with. All right. And by giving encouragement in those times when our faith may grow dim. So, no perpetual motion going on there, huh? I guess you got to croak first. And then wait a while. <laughs> and then perpetual motion. Dear reader and watcher, is your salvation shaky? Or sure? 
if it is shaky, yield your life fully to Christ. Some guy you've only heard about or read about. A long time ago, yeah, you know, from like you know, way back when, if ever. <sighs> and believe the promises of God. So God was making those promises through a whole bunch of prophets, right? Profiteers. Uh, God will give you assurance of salvation. Praise Him and Press on. Gary Martin wrote this interesting distraction. Let me know if you learned something. Please. Because I might have missed it. Yeah. It just gets snowier and snowier and I getting more and more unemployed. But I have savings and I'm good. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I may have a lot more time to make videos. Who knows? Bye. My first snow angel. <laughs>